<laughs> oh god. Okay. If you're answer asking this question in an interview, please please stop it. Okay. Is velocity a good proxy for productivity in an in in, in a oh can't even be bothered. It might be, it might be good enough. Okay. Let's step away from the agile world. Let's look at what we mean by, by velocity. Think back to when you were in class and you were learning about it. Hopefully you were taught something along the lines of speed and direction. That's what velocity is. It's your speed in a particular direction. If you go 90 degrees to that direction, doesn't matter how fast you go, your velocity is zero. You're not going towards whatever it is they thought you were. And that is why the Agile world picked Velocity. Because it's about your pace of delivery towards a product, to building something of true value to your customer. In that situation, yes, it can be a very good thing. We would love to use value instead of effort, but value is all over the shop. Very little bit of effort can deliver huge amounts of value and your graphing is all over the place. So instead, we look at the effort required to deliver individual items. Often in story points, so you might hear a team has a velocity of 40 points a sprint. They have, within their collective capacity, 40 points worth of effort based on their own scale. Okay. Well, what does that tell you? It allows you to forecast, it allows you to do some planning, it allows you to manage expectations with stakeholders, look at budgetary things, all very, very good things. Does it talk about productivity? Mm. I mean, what is productivity in our world anyway? It's the ability to deliver an outcome. Well, outcome is value. It is not effort. So it's not talking about that at all. It's a proxy. Yeah, it's not a good proxy, but it's possibly the best one we have to understand other attributes of the team, how quickly they're going to get through the work. What we need to do is find a way to determine the value that is being given because a product owner can declare a value for an item. Okay, it's an assumption, it's a hypothesis. It's only by giving it to their end users who can really tell you whether it is valuable and how valuable it is to them in action. That's the only point at which we can understand the outcome. That's really hard to do because many, many things they won't be able to pin to any useful idea. So in that sense, yes, yes, velocity can be used as a useful proxy for productivity in product development. Okay. But it's a double edged sword. It's been dropped by Scrum. It's been dropped by many, many practitioners in the agile world, not because it's a bad thing. It's a good thing used well. But in many organisations, they see a number and they use that number to control, to manage by spreadsheets. They look at one team, your velocity is 40. You must be better than that team whose velocity is 30. How are you better than them? They're not. You're not even comparing apples and oranges here. You're comparing apples and wombats. Right? They have nothing to do with each other. You have one team that has worked out its scale of effort that it has and comparing it to a team solving a different problem in a different domain with different people and its scale. That's the sort of thing that we steer clear of velocity because of. Okay. Organisations that are not yet at a point where they can understand the intricacies and the nuances of complex work that are looking at things and expecting them to be definitely measurable and comparable in the same way as in that complicated and simple space of work. You know, the production line that many of the industries and the organisations that I work with have their feet. They look at the world as though it is measurable. You've given them a number and they will use that number as they say, see fit. And they will use it not based on what it is, but based on what they understand by numbers. They will use it to measure you. They'll use it to measure your team, to compare teams, to extrapolate the good and the bad. So velocity is okay. In fact, I teach it. I work with scrum masters to use it. I work with teams to help them understand it, product owners to extrapolate with it. This is all good things. What I also always advise is don't share it. 
Don't let other people know that number. They don't need it. What they need to know is the rate of progress you're getting through work and when you're going to deliver particular outcomes to your customers. Okay? Focus on that, not on velocity. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.